We are in the center of Citada, which was built in the 30s of 19th century as kind of a military structure built opposite to, to Warsaw. It was absolutely closed. So the main task of uh, our, uh, our group was to uh, involve these uh, historical buildings uh, into the, the whole museum. So if you come in, you don't feel like uh, in a military area, but like in a museum garden. It is fantastic the way the architects found the potential in this site, obviously, especially in the area between the glacis and the wall, uh, a found space, an unused space that now has really become, for me, the most important uh, emotional moment in the whole journey. During, during our project, we had a question how to connect the new architecture with the old one, because Citadel was built, not only the Caponier, but also the wall, was built of bricks. What makes the Katyn's Museum so unique? The special uh, connection, maybe game, between the old existing 19th century structure and the new architecture. The use of the stained red concrete that is an abstraction of the red brick obviously brings the outside in and acts as a very good way to bring uh, the exterior experience to the inside. The main axis drives to the old bastion like a symbolic tunnel that connects the death and life. All these little elements, artifacts, like eagles or uh, buttons from murdered um, soldiers' uniforms, are stamped into walls and it makes that we feel like touching a real history. It's very moving and powerful to come here to Poland to find this place that is very much part of the city, but also isolated. What I appreciate is the many uh, barriers you have to cross, the many sequences of gateways, dark spaces, light spaces, and then coming to the big open square where the forest itself reminds you of the reality of what happened. 